you felt it, didn't you? The power. Okay, this is not your kid's sword in the stone. Charlie Hunnam taking on the royal role in King Arthur, Legend of the Sword, out May 12th. And Kelty, apparently, Charlie, not the only British heartthrob on that set, huh? No, he was not. Get ready, everyone. Take a good look at David Beckham like you've never seen him before. Kind of ugly. Next up, King Arthur. Yep. David Beckham posted a photo on his Instagram of him looking incredibly beat up mm. in his face. How was it working with him? Amazing. Uh, he... I was really inspired by working with him. He showed up to do like a little cameo and he didn't need to put any effort into it really. I mean, he's not an actor. I don't think he has any real aspiration to be an actor. And yet he'd obviously studied the material for days. He'd worked with a coach and had gotten ready and showed up absolutely determined to do a good job. And I just left thinking, what a cool dude. Another impressive guy in Charlie's life is Brad Pitt, who executive produced Hunnam's latest film, The Lost City of Z, based on the best-selling book. Talk to me about having Brad Pitt as your boss. I know this is something that he was interested at first for himself to play. Big, big, big shoes to fill, I'll yes. tell you what. I was really nervous about Brad seeing the film, but uh, he's been very kind to me. You know, he, he sent me uh, a message saying he thought I'd done a really good job. He came to our premiere the other night to, to support the film. It seems like he's very proud of the film. Tom Holland, who also stars as Charlie's son Jack, revealed his connection between Boss Brad and Spider-Man. You know, I love Brad Pitt. I have, I've been a big fan of his for a long time. But when we were doing Spider-Man, I said to the producers that I was going to get Brad Pitt Fight Club fit for the movie, and everyone laughed at me, and they're like, there's no way he's going to do that. Didn't quite make Brad Pitt fit levels, but you know, I tried my best. The journey may well mean your life. Charlie, AKA British explorer Percy Fawcett, leaves his wife, played by Sienna Miller, behind to go looking for an ancient lost city. One of the things that um, ties you and Sienna Miller's character together throughout this movie is these love letters. I didn't speak to my girlfriend for four months and I, and I wrote her letters during the process of it. And so she would write me a letter and I would get it and I would hold it for five or six or seven days and sometimes in, in the scene, right before the scene, read the letter to sort of create that sense of longing and, and, and what that connection to home felt like. 